This video is the second part of a demonstration how to get rid of QRM. In the first video I showed you how a Wellbrook loop can help to fight noise. In this video I will show you how to diminish noise even more by means of an ANC4 noise canceller. This is the setup. An FT2000 at 40 meters with its IF output connected to an RTL stick running under HD SDR and of course an ANC4. Receive antenna is a Wellbrook loop and the noise input in this case is from a dedicated noise antenna. Now if you wonder why there is so much noise on the FT2000 even with a Wellbrook loop that is because the loop has been turned towards the noise and the first preamp has been engaged just for demonstration purposes. Here you get an idea how this noise antenna looks like. It's just a wire but you may need some experimenting to find an optimum. Normally it is not much of a problem if your noise antenna picks up wanted signals too. But it has to pick up the noise you want to lose. Let's first have a look at the band. Just look and listen. And here is how the spectrum looks like. Again for demonstration purpose, the gain of the RTL stick has been cranked up. Therefore there are spikes in the display which normally are not seen. We'll now switch on the ANC4 and see what it can do. Normally you will see a signal drop of about 6 dB when switched on. But this ANC4 has been modified and I'll tell you about that later. Start tuning here. As you can see and hear, it has become a lot quieter. This is the second example, an FTDX3000 at 20 meters with a butternut beam as receive antenna and my MFET wire as the noise input. Switching off the ANC. You will now have some idea what the ANC4 can do for you. It will eliminate a lot of noise, but there is no guarantee that it will always work. As I told you before, the ANC4 has been modified 
in order not to get signal jumps when switch on or off. It is not necessary to do so, but I like it this way. In the schematic you see what has been changed. A 10 dB preamplifier made from a kit from Minikits has been built into the unit. The circuit as shown does not cause any change in signal when switched on or off. Also note that the PTT input has been made. Also that is not necessary, but I just put it in for safety. Here's a picture of how you can build it into the unit. You probably noticed that there are two ANC4s at my desk and wondered why. Therefore I show you my setup here. One unit sits in the RX line and the other in the TX1 line. By means of the coax switches and patch panel I can make all kind of combinations without blowing up my Wellbrook loop. Well that's it. Lots of success with your fight against QRM.